Hail is sometimes confused with the cold weather precipitation called sleet, but hail forms during warm months inside intense thunderstorms. Now within thunderstorms are very fast moving currents of air. The ones moving upwards are called updrafts. Now at the same time, currents of air are moving downwards. Now these are called downdrafts. Inside the updrafts, water vapor and rain are pushed extremely high into the thunderstorm cloud, and at a certain height, the air temperature drops below freezing. This produces a tiny ice particle, and this serves as the center of the hailstone. Now, throughout time, the particles circulate within the thunderstorms thanks to the force of the updrafts, and as it does, it collides with more raindrops, and it's forced back above the freezing layer. This is where a new layer of water freezes. This allows the hail to get bigger the longer longer it stays inside the thunderstorm. But eventually that hail grows heavy enough to overcome the updrafts and gravity pulls it back down to the ground or the downdraft pulls it down and that brings the hail to the surface. And the stronger the thunderstorm, the more intense the updrafts, the larger the hail. Now weak thunderstorms can produce small pea size hail. That's basically what we have in this area. A little bit stronger of a storm, you get half inch size diameter, that's a marble. You get a penny, you get a quarter. But then when you get across Cornado Alley, this is where they have the big supercell thunderstorms, those big long track tornadoes. This is where you can get hail the size of ping pong balls, hail the size of eggs, and even hail the size of tennis balls. This type of hail can cause a lot of damage to your car.